Hey guys, welcome back to Seldon Tutorials. My name is Ahmed, and today in that video, I would like to install FreePBX 12 on CentOS 6 with asterisk 13. So, first of all, I have my dedicated server that is CentOS 6 on my terminal right there. Um, I'm willing to follow the wiki of FreePBX, the original wiki so that I uh, uh, go ahead with the installation. But I would like to mention an important thing, which is this wiki that we are monitoring right now is not updated so well. So if you, if you follow the, the wiki that we have right now, maybe your asterisk have some problems in compilation, right? So what, I, what have I done right now? I just mentioned my notes on the left right here on how can we skip all the problems that we we gonna face during the installation right so in that setup that we have I have two notes notes number one which is I'm using Corsinto 6 for Google Voice <clears throat> I have to install the packages the IKE CML packages which is uh, needed for the motif and uh, channel driver which are mandatory for the Google Voice service and the other stuff which is PG sub module should be 2.4 not 2.2 as we hear if we look at the uh, at the wiki we will find that the version is being installed 2.2 and if I follow this wiki that we have right now we will not have the asterisk working we will have many problems during the compilation so this is an important thing that we use 2.4 for the PGSIP if we are using asterisk 13. The second one, if we are using Google Voice servers, we have to build and install the modules from this um, uh, link. You can find your own method, but the IKC mill, which is, uh, let me check, uh, this one, as you know, IKC mill packages is mandatory if you are using Google Voice. So if I follow this, right the Google was not gonna be working so I have found my own method and I will show you uh, in a moment how can we install uh, the packages that are needed for Google Voice so let's get it started I wanna follow step by step from the beginning so first of all you must be root mm, uh, you have to make sure that the C Linux which is being disabled I'd like to mention SE status and we have the C Linux which is disabled. Also, I would like to mention that IB tables is down. So no security right now on my server. The second thing I'm gonna install yum update, then yum group install core and base. Right? So I'm gonna paste. So again, so there is there is no there's nothing which is dedicated for me to be done from my own self, you know? I have just been following the wiki, that's all, right? But unfortunately, the wiki is not always being updated. I, I don't know, I don't know why, why do they, they do that. I'm not sure about that. But we have to make sure that we are uh, know what we are doing. That's it. So if you have a new error, you have a new problem, you should take care and figure it out. The current server that I have now, right now, is a dedicated server and fresh installed with CentOS 6, 64 bit. So I'm waiting right now the installation.
and now in ver verification and now installation all right we have installed the group packages also those are the required packages I'm gonna copy and paste right there I'm gonna hit yes As we see, we have a lot of dependencies. Um, we are using Battle, uh, Apache, PHP, MySQL. All of them are mandatory for assets FreeBBX to be sold without problems. Alright, so let's jump to the next step, which is the IB tables. As we see, we have the IB tables down. So, so for sure, I say IB tables save, right? So that save the nothing of settings. And now for the MySQL. Start in the MySQL service. And now make sure the HTTP is up after the start. And now we're starting the Apache. And now I'm gonna install peer db, copy and paste. All right now I will reboot the server so I'm gonna hit init 6 the server after the rebooting so let's continue um, the Google voice dependencies I'm gonna skip this right and solve it on my own cell so I open up this link So I'm gonna check this IKC mail, then I IKC mail dev developer and the IKC mail utilities. Those three packages will be installed. So I'm gonna copy link right there. Say wget the first one, right? The same thing. Copy link and wget the second one. Then the first, the last one. There will you get the last one. So with that, we have the three packages which are mandatory for the Google Voice. So how I'm gonna install, if you check alias minus L, I'm gonna say yum local install this and 
in this in this I think there is a typo in stall I'm gonna hit the ace Great, so if I type rpm minus ql ik cmail package, you'll find that it is installed on the lib64 bit, right? Which is a great um, news. Now, if we come back, I'm not gonna use this steps, right? So I'm gonna check and follow the second step. User add addition, asterisk. Um, I'm gonna install all the packages. I, I know that I'm not going to install all of them But I'm willing to install all of them um, You know there is daddy and there is lib pri and there is the asterisk itself so those packages in general are only being used if you have the analog or if you have digital card the analog if you have a card like analog card that's physically installed on your PBX so that module is important for you the daddy right if you have BRI card you have E1 T1 card this module is important before you compile asterisk so again those two modules which is the daddy module and the lib BRI module should be installed compiled before you install asterisk right but in that video, I'm, gonna I'm not going to cover because I have a dedicated server on a service provider, which is remotely. So I don't, I don't think that I will need the hardware card. So all what I'm getting to have is just buy SIP trunks over the internet. So those modules are not being mandatory for you, for me. Right, so great. So before I continue, as I mentioned right there, the PG, PG sub module should be 2.4, not 2.2. Okay. So if I Google, Google it, I think PG sub. If I open pgsub.org, I want to tell them that I want 2.4, not 2.2. .2. This is 2.2. I go to the download, or even I can choose 2.5, right? So I say copy link, w get. And I'm gonna remove PG project 2.2. So it's not gonna work. Right, so let's get back to our tutorial. We have installed all of those, right? Now it's asking about daddy and libbri. As I have just mentioned earlier, we don't have a physical hardware. So I'm gonna skip this, no need to this. And I'm gonna have the PG sib project, right? So this is an important note right there. It says that you have to compile asterisk with the directory user lib 64 bit if you have 64 bit, right? So let's now start with the PG sib. This one, I'm gonna say tar minus extract verbose file pg sub project pg pg project pg project right then cd pg project right so it's it is the same as we have here but I just changed the version I don't want to install 2.2 it's not gonna be working with asterisk 13 
and now I do the same compiling options so I'm gonna copy and make sure that it is slash user slash 64 bit if you have 64 bits right and for me as I mentioned I have 64 bit as well so let's say let's give it some time mm, I would say we make deb dependencies and now make then make install so I'm gonna say make and make install As we see, the, compil the compilation process take much process. So if you have a weak server, it's gonna be taking longer and longer time. So what have we done? It say, look, as you don't see any errors, that mean that the compilation process were successful. So if I type RPM minus QL, what, what's the name, PG? Sub, I think, or PG project. PG project or PG sub maybe PG sub Right, so what is BGSEB? Say that has existed RPM minus QL PJ SIP. Minus QL. Alright, say not not installed because we did not use the yum install. But by the way, we have it uh, being compiled, so we can see it by the where is command. So the PGSIP is existing in that file and that in that right 